Jesus is with us this week. I'll be working on week two's entry in the faith-based April monthly subscription box titled, It Continues With Me. I'm using scriptures from this modern English creative journaling Bible, The Promises of God, and I'm using items from Michelle's faith-based sticker shop, Vin Von Alley. Use my PR code Vicky20 to save on your purchases. And this is week one. So take out your devotional book, Bible, war binder, journal, planner, and join me in week two's entry. This week, the devotional study scriptures we will learn are from April 3rd to April 9th, and they are John 16, the entire chapter, John 19, 17 to 20, John 19, 21 to 25, John 19, 26 to 30, Romans 10, 4, Hebrews 9, 12, and Matthews 28, 1 through 7. It continues with me. If you're wondering about the title of this subscription, it was created with the intention of being a personal affirmation for you, the reader, because the ministry of Jesus continues with you. The minute you became a believer in Christ, the baton was passed to you to continue sharing the word of God, feeding the hungry, healing the sick, freeing the broken, and yes, raising the dead. Matthew 10:8. John 16 and the titles within the chapter are The World's Hatred, The Work of the Spirit, Sorrow Will Turn Into Joy, I Have Overcome the World. John 16, 1 to 4, I have spoken these things to you so that you will not fall away. They will put you out of the synagogues. Yes, the time is coming that whoever kills you will think that he is offering a service to God. They will do these things to you because they will not know the Father nor me. I have told you these things so that when the time comes, you may remember that I told you about them. John 16, titled The Work of the Spirit, I did not tell you these things at the beginning because I was with you, but now I'm going to him who sent me, and none of you asks me, where are you going? Rather, sorrow has filled your heart because I have told you these things. John 16, titled Sorrow Will Turn Into Joy, In a little while you will not see me, and then after a little while you will see me, because I am going to the Father. Then some of his disciples said among themselves, What is this he is telling us? In a little while you will not see me, and then after a little while you will see me, and because I am going to the Father. Then they said, What is this he is telling us? In a little while. We do not know what he is saying. John 16, titled, I have overcome the world. I have told you these things in Proverbs, but the time is coming when I will no longer speak to you in Proverbs, for I will speak to you plainly about the Father. On that day, you will ask in my name. I am not saying to you that I shall ask the Father on your behalf. For the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. As I said, I am leaving the world and I'm going to the Father. I 
I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. John 19, 17 through 20, titled The Crucifixion, he went out carrying his own cross to a place called the place of a skull, which in Hebrew is called Golgotha. There they crucified him and two others with him, one on either side and Jesus in the middle. Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. The writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Many of the Jews read this title for the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city. And it was written in Hebrew in Greek and in Latin. The chief priest of the Jews said to Pilate, do not write the King of the Jews, but he said, I am King of the Jews. Pilate answered, what I have written, I have written. John 19, 26 to 30, titled The Crucifixion and the Death of Jesus. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time, this disciple took her to his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that everything was now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. A bowl full of sour wine was placed there. So they put a sponge full of sour wine onto hyssop and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Roman 10, 4, titled Israel and the Gospel, Christ is the end of the law unto righteousness for everyone who believes. Hebrew 9 12 titled the earthly and heavenly sanctuaries neither by the blood of goats and calves but by his own blood he entered the most holy place once for all having obtained eternal redemption Matthew 28, 1 through 7, titled The Resurrection. At the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to the tomb. And then there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from the heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His countenance was like lightning and his garment white as snow. The soldiers sh shook for fear of him and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, as he said. Come see the place where the Lord lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And indeed, he is going before you to Galilee, there you will see him. Listen, I have told you.
Jesus's ministry is an example of what we are called to do. In fact, he said we can do great works than he did. John 14, 12. If you're thinking, I can't do what Jesus did, well, he said you can. You can because he left you someone to help you. Holy Spirit. You are not called to perfection, but passion. Your passion and zeal for the Lord will propel you into sharing the gospel and winning souls for the kingdom of heaven. We can step out in faith knowing that Jesus is always with us. Hebrew 13, 5 and he will empower us to fulfill his will in the earth. Blessings. And here is week two's entry. Give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you for spending your time with me. Until next time, I hope today your heart desires. Latest.